I'm here at the world's largest exhibition. More than 192 countries are participating. This is Expo 2020 in Dubai. In case you don't know what the Expo is, it is a huge international exhibition happening every five years hosted in different countries. And it's designed to bring the world together, showcasing culture, sharing ideas and achievements of participating nations and featuring the latest, most advanced technology and innovations. With the sustainable goals of development in mind, the theme of this expo is connecting minds, creating the future, in hopes we can collaborate in building a brighter and better future. The whole expo is divided into three themes, opportunity, mobility and sustainability. In this video, we'll show you around at the expo and take a closer look at the German pavilion which is located in the sustainability district. The Campus Germany concept, which is a concept uh, dedicated to the university way of experience. And it's uh, already in the, in the building, you can see it's like uh, built like a campus and of course not in a horizontal way, in a vertical way. The idea of the German pavilion is that it resembles a university, not just in terms of look and design, but in structure too. It starts with the enrollment, where you get your badge with your nickname on it, and ends with your graduation. The badge is actually more than just a name tag and plays an important part in your journey through the pavilion. You select your preferred language and the country you're from beforehand. As you will see later, this will make your whole experience at Campus Germany so much more personal and interactive. So I already got my name tag here and the interesting thing is, while waiting in this queue here, you can read a lot of fun facts about all the states of Germany. The journey starts in the room of 100,000 ideas. Here you can simply pick a yellow ball and place it on one of the readers to explore cool facts, stories and ideas on sustainability from Germany in form of a short presentation. Oh, wow. This table here is personalized to my name tag. It recognizes when I come near and shows my name here and the language that I speak. Or you can dive into the ball pit. Campus Germany has three sub-themes that can be seen as your curriculum presented as three labs, Energy Lab, the Future City Lab, and the Biodiversity Lab. The Energy Lab is the first one. And, as you guessed it, it's all about sustainable and renewable energy. In this area, you can see what percentage of energy is generated from renewable and non-renewable in your country compared to Germany and the rest of the world. Once again, the name tag recognizes which country I'm from as soon as I go near to this. In the first room of this lab, you will learn all about new ways to produce green energy. All in a very hands-on and fun way. So this is basically the process of 
generating energy from the kite i have to follow this infinity path <laughs> that the kite has to fly to to generate the maximum amount of energy <laughs> it's not that easy <laughs> At the end of every topic they ask you a question here and depending on where you go you can answer yes or no and the tag records your answer and you can see the results at the end So the previous room was about how we can generate renewable energy. This room is about how we can store the renewable energy. There's different ways of storing over there. We learned about hydro hydrogen storage. Over here we have the deep sea storage, how we can store energy deep under the ocean. This exhibit shows us how it works basically. If I push this, it stores the energy. And the push has to be really hard. There we go. Energy is stored. Next up is the Future City Lab, where we learn about new ideas to design future cities in a way that they're better for us to live in and also better for the environment with smarter structures, better mobility, more recycling and less energy used. This third room is about future cities, how the cities of our future should look like, how they can be made more sustainable, what technologies can be used. Here is an example of future elevators, how the elevators in the future can go not only vertically but also horizontally by not using cables but instead using electromagnetism. Since more than 40% of global CO2 emissions come from just the construction industry, this place describes what materials we can use in the future. Like the smile plastics, building materials made out of plastic, or this new material called microfoam. My personal favorite was the Biodiversity Lab, which is also the most aesthetic one. The mobile artwork displays the vulnerability and how, once you take away one part of the ecosystem, everything becomes imbalanced. There's also a really cool map helping us look beyond the surface and discover the value of a healthy ecosystem in numbers. This is the last room before we graduate there, there is a graduation happening and this last room talks mostly about nature and biodiversity.
Once your campus Germany curriculum is completed, you sit down on one of the swings for a very moving graduation ceremony, in the literal sense. The message is, if we act together and move towards the same goals, we can be the much needed change. This last area is some swing area. We don't know what's going to happen here. <laughs> but they do say that once we sit on these swings, that we should not swing. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Hello, <laughs> Julie. Welcome to the graduation hall. Your journey is almost complete. But before you leave, there's one last thing worth sharing. And show that you care. During your journey, let's try a little experiment. As we think the same way, we can move the same way. Look, you're not stuck any longer. Let's move together and inspire the people around us wow. to move as well. Move towards your knees to reach the back of the future. After visiting several pavilions from different countries, we can confidently say that Germany is one of the best and also one of the most popular ones, receiving great feedback. You probably think we have to say this because we are reporting for Deutsche Welle, but we loved the ideas and innovations and felt like this pavilion had the right balance of showcasing science and raising important issues with possible solutions in an entertaining way. You learn a lot, but it's never boring. So and we decided to, uh, to build uh, uh, Campus Germany, especially the content part, in a fun way. For us it was always very important to have it in an entertainment way, because people want also to enjoy. We don't want to just show the really technology and uh, the really hard stuff uh, of science. We wanted to do it with an experience. As mentioned before, there are 191 other country pavilions to explore at Expo 2020, besides Campus Germany. It's so, so big that I think even a week might not be enough to see everything here. But if you're looking to learn a lot, we recommend that you don't miss the German pavilion. It's worth standing in queue for a bit. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to the DW Travel Channel for more such videos. See you next time.